We are now going to Kolegono, where I was telling you that the residents chased away the Accra Metropolitan Assembly boss, Alfred Okum van der Poy, from the area because uh, the AMA boss was there to check the Millennium Development School the Assembly is putting up. Why would they want to chase the the AMA away for bringing development to the area. Felicia is here with me in the studio. She's a multimedia journalist and she'll uh, tell us what she saw. Thanks for joining us here. Thank you. What happened? Um, we got to the area in the morning around 11 and there was so much violence. Everybody was in red. Mm -hmm. They were like, you could see there had been commotion. Mm -hmm. So we went to check out the land in question and then went to the house of the family that owns the land. Mm -hmm. And we spoke to um, one of the family members. He was, he's actually the great, great grandson of the owner. And he tried to explain to us that the land is a, is a two acre plot mm -hmm. that they've given part to AMA mm -hmm. and they've built a wooden structure on it. And, and, and this wooden structure is also a school? Yes, it's a school. Okay. And they've also given part of the land to residents and they are they are having their stores, their shops. Mm -hmm. Some of them are some of them are even sleeping there. Mm -hmm. So and it's, 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 it serves as a home for people as well. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the rest has been used as a community park where um, the for area, recreational purposes. Yes. So when the AMA AMA now it's starting an in initiative where they want to be building more schools in every community mm -hmm. and they want to take off the wooden structure and build a bigger school mm -hmm. meaning they want the other parts of the land they want to add the other parts of the land that has been given to the residents mm -hmm. to it but the family and the people in the community are refusing because AMA has not compensated the family for it and they for, for what they had they have been given already yes mm. that is that is the family why the family is refusing mm -hmm. and the residents are also supporting the family because they have their stores and their shops on it so if if they take it off some of them don't really have where to go mm. and the man his name is mr Nien Naka Bruce. Okay. He said he has met with Okut van der Poel. he mm -hmm. called him to his office and said they were going to compensate them with 100 million mm -hmm. Right, oh. and so this this hundred million is yet to come, but the residents do not want the AMA to build the Millennium School. No, that's it. The the, the 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 residents do not want the AMA to build the Millennium School there because they will lose their property one, and so they prefer the wooden structure there, or the AMA should build on the. The family is saying they don't even want AMA to have any part of the land anymore. Anymore, and that if it is a school that they want to build, then they will build their own school and then you know have it as their personal property because they don't want the land to leave the family. It's mm. a family property, and if AMA wants to build yeah. and even they compensate them more than the hundred million, they should have their name placed on the school, on the school. so that the family legacy will not be lost. In interesting. I just want to tell our viewers that we we got in touch with the Accra Metropolitan Assembly. The feedback we are getting is that they want to hold a press conference on this. When we do get uh, the, the detail of the press conference, we will uh, get you that information. We'll bring it right on to you. But the AMA boss was chased away. How? He, he has been refusing to meet the family lawyer for some time now, mm -hmm. from the information we got it. And when he called them, the money that he was offering was too small. And two acres of plots in Accra, Kualigono, is a big place. They yeah. feel like they deserve more, they than, deserve more. than the, fam the money he's giving the family. So how did they chase him out? <laughs> Well, the, the residents were very angry. Mm -hmm. They were fighting for their stores, and, mm -hmm. but then they had to support the family. And there was, there was so much commotion. A lot of chaos. And the police was around, and they couldn't even stop because you could see that the people were ready to fight, to protect their rights, their mm -hmm. property. And they had the backing of the family. And it was, it was serious. It, 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 was, it was a terrible scene <laughs> it was, it was yesterday serious. when he covered this. Thank you very much, Felicia, for your time. Once again, I'm going to say... Uh, we spoke to the Accra Metropolitan Assembly after the incident happened. What we understand is that today there's going to be a press conference on this. When we get to the briefing, we'll bring it to, we'll bring it to you. But to come, Kokase is uh, fit to be decided as he goes back to court today. And what I understand is that, that fate could not be decided today because the case has been adjourned to 27th of February. Now we can speak to our correspondent as to why 
uh, his fate was not decided today. Not that I'm looking forward to it, but I need to inform you about it. Uh, I understand Mahmoud Mohammed Nuruddin is not over the telephone yet. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to take a quick break. When I come back, well, maybe I don't have to take the break. Uh, Nuruddin is back over the telephone. Uh, hello, hello, Nuruddin. Well, so I think I'd, I'd have to uh, take a quick break. And when I come back, would would speak to Nuruddin on the uh, Kumasi Circuit Court's adjournment of Kwakas's case to the 27th of February. Hello, Mohammed. Hello, Mohammed. Yeah. What happened in court today? Hello, Mohammed. Yeah. Nuruddin, what happened in court today? What's happening? Uh, the case couldn't come up today because uh, the judge was in court. We and the, and the prosecutor as well was not in court. And so the case has to be adjourned to the 27th of February. Mm, I see. But uh, counsel for Kwakase and Kwakase himself, why are they in court? Come again, come in. How about Kwakase? Was he in court? Kwakase and his lawyer were in court. They were in court and uh, they came as early as possible. Do and we know so, why the judge and prosecution we, were absent? We, we, we haven't been told. A reason hasn't been given yet. Uh, uh, we are yet, I'm here to speak to the state prosecutor to find out why he wasn't in court today. Uh, but for the judge, he was not. And so many cases were also adjoined at, at that particular court. I see. Because of the, uh, the judge's failure to appear. I see. Uh, would, would leave it here for now. Uh, and and uh, when, we, when we speak again later in subsequent broadcast, perhaps we would, would get a response to some of the questions we are raising. Well, thank you very much, Nuruddin, for the, uh, the, that report. Now, so Caucasus' case has been adjourned to February 27. There was no show in court. You recall at the last sitting or at the last hearing, his fate was to be decided today, but obviously it's been pushed further to the 27th of February 2015. Both judge and prosecutor, uh, prosecutors were not in court today. Uh, in subsequent broadcasts, we'll find out why that didn't happen as and when our correspondent gathers that information. But there was a show from, uh, from, from the defendant, and uh, we'll look into this matter closely in subsequent broadcasts. There's more to come. Don't go away.